Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Well, Chris Shearer asked me two days ago um, if there's a good way to do a 30 second timer. Well, there is, but um, as all timers are based on redstone clocks and uh, starting redstone clocks change again in 1.4, uh, let's just take a look at how to start a redstone clock. Uh, the one on the right for the old wave it doesn't work any longer, it's broken. For this one is another wave with a redstone torch. But the problem is it's not a one tick timer, uh, it's, uh, the redstone torch delays things a lot. This is how you can still do it. Um, this is <laughs> actually a rapid pulser. Um, then you got a f signal short enough, um, which sends a one tick signal to start the clock. Um, and slightly f uh, after the f uh, piston ex uh, extends. So this is how you start a rapid pulser on 145. And uh, now let's take a look at how you can put that to a good use with a 30 second timer. There are actually four ways to do a 30 second timer. Uh, let's just start with the one over here. F um, these are basically two redstone clocks in one. F uh, on the left you got a redstone clock with a 12 uh, tick delay. On the right a clock with a 25 tick delay. So each of these clocks will send a one tick pulse to the end gate over here f uh, when it finishes one circle. This happens at the exact same time the end gate will close and the piston over here will retract. Um, this works because um, the smallest possible multiple of both 12 and 25 um, is 300. So in theory this should um, retract itself every 300 ticks, which is 30 seconds. I think I didn't get it quite right uh, because um, actually on the left you get the first signal after 11 ticks, on the right after 24 ticks because I had to use one redstone, redstone repeater f uh, to go into the f extended block there f uh, f with the pistons again. Um, but still, maybe if uh, you can work this out, um, it's just a redstone clock, um, doesn't use many pistons um, and if you get it right, it's really very accurate. Though let's move over to the other clock. Um, this uses the other method to start a redstone clock with torches. Um, but this is even <laughs> more complicated to get right. On the left I currently got a 6 tick delay, which is extended by redstone torch to 12 on the right. Um, actually it's 25 uh, doubles to 50, though uh, this will never work out with 30 seconds. Um, but in theory it should work somehow. Um, this one is pretty cool even though it's really large and overly complicated. This is a binary counter which counts to 15. Though uh, when you reach 15 each of the pistons over here will be extended. Then two of uh, them go into an end gate uh, which goes in an into another end gate though only if all pistons are ex extended, uh, the uh, piston at the end will get a signal. And um, right here I'm going to start a 20 tick clock. Though every 20 ticks I send a signal into the binary counter which starts counting. Currently we are at 6, 7, 8 um, and uh, this counts up to 15, which means 15 times 20 ticks, which is 300 ticks or 30 seconds. So exactly after 30 seconds the piston over here will retract like that. And 20 ticks later it will extend again. So this is really very very accurate. <laughs> But I don't know, I'm <laughs> not into binary counters somehow. Nonetheless, let's <laughs> wait for another circle. Um, so we're currently uh, do 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 f um, at 12, 13, 14, 15. 
and back to zero it resets itself after a while um, still this one is the smallest and neatest um, it's just a regular piston clock um, let's just start it um, if you've seen my previous video for a piston clock works like this um, there's a redstone torch hidden uh, beneath in the center and the uh, signal from the redstone torch only uh, travels outside if the glass block uh, is over the redstone wire like that so this repeats every circle um, this one happens to be just about 29 seconds so it's very very small and um, 30 second ish <laughs> so if you don't need uh, exactly 30 seconds this one will do very nicely and you can view my older video how to do it so this would be my recommendation as it's the smallest uh, well, these are not very accurate. This could be, but uh, I didn't get it right yet. And of course, the f binary clock. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> the binary clock over here. For this is very accurate. It also <laughs> looks very cool, but it takes up a hell of a lot of space. <laughs> but still, uh, take your choice. <laughs> and if you want to see a tutorial on any of these, just get me a message. 